Hey everyone and welcome back to Upload the Download and today we're going to run through my process of editing a multi-anchor news shoot with a virtual environment. This will be done in Adobe Premiere with the green screen work taking place in Adobe After Effects. So here we have my news anchor footage. Just ignore the fact that both of the anchors are me. And here we have three images of my virtual news studio from different perspectives. You could easily use animated backgrounds just the same. And finally, I have a folder here with my title sequence and a news story. First up, let's jump into Premiere and create some folders to organize the workspace. We'll create a footage folder and within that we'll create a right and left folder. These are to help us manage the footage from each news anchor. Inside these two folders, we'll also create a used folder. Last but not least, we'll create a news stories folder and a media folder. Now I'm going to import all of my footage by dragging it into the footage folder in the project file browser. It's time to import the news story and the title sequence into their respective folders. Then I'm going to split up my footage so that the clips of the news anchor sitting on the right is in the right folder and the clips of the news anchor sitting on the left is in the left folder. All of the two shot clips can stay where they are, unless you want to be better organized and have a center folder as well. It's also probably a good time to save your project. Okay, let's get editing. I've renamed the video layers to better explain how I'm going to edit this up. Basically, for each perspective of the news shoot, we'll have a separate layer, as well as a separate layer for the news stories. Why we're doing this will become clear soon. Double click on your first clip in the sidebar. Here we can use in and out points to select the start and end of the dialogue. Once you've selected what you're after, drag it onto the timeline. Since this clip is the center shot, we'll put it on the center video layer. Go through and edit your new shoot up. Left anchor goes on the left layer, right on the right layer and the news stories on the news layer. Be sure to put each clip that you've used into its respective used folder. That way you don't accidentally use it again. When you're done, you'll have a sequence layered out something like this. Depending on how many news anchors you decide to have, you could have a pretty hectic timeline. The last thing to do before jumping into After Effects is to go into the audio mixer and adjust the volume levels of all the tracks making sure that all of the videos are playing at an even volume. Now it's time to green screen. Select all of the footage on one of your anchor layers. You can click and drag, but it's faster to press the A key on your keyboard, go to the start of the timeline, and then click on the layer that you want to select. Then right click and go replace with After Effects composition. Save the project it's created somewhere you'll remember, and then in the project file manager, we'll create a folder called backgrounds. Now I'm going to drag in my virtual newsroom images into that folder. And then in my composition, I'm going to select all of my footage with Ctrl or Command A and pre-compose it. You do this by going to the context layers option and clicking on pre-compose. Here, type in a name of your choice, then select the move all attributes into the new composition option and click OK. Now duplicate that new layer using Command D or Control D and hide the bottom layer using the I button. Next I'll drag in the appropriate background image. In this case it's the picture for the left anchor perspective and I'll place this image as the bottom layer. Now we'll go to Effects and search Key Light. Click and drag the key light effect onto your topmost layer. Using the color picker select a section of your green screen from the video. To clean this chroma key up, let's change the view mode to screen matte and then go down to the screen matte options and adjust the clip black and clip white. I also add a negative 3 pixel shrink with a 3 pixel feather to smooth the edges up a bit. Last but not least, set the track matte of the virtual newsroom image to alpha matte. This basically means that the background won't show up unless the news anchor clip is playing. Repeat this process for the rest of your green screen layers. Select all, replace with After Effects, pre-compose, duplicate, hide, background, key light, alpha matte. Once you're done, dive back into Premiere to finish the edit. I then drag the sequence that I've been editing in onto the new item sticky note. This will create a new sequence with our other sequence inside it. Here we'll put our title sequence and ending credits, a slight overlap and a crossfade transition, and then at the end, the music has an audio crossfade transition, so it creeps in. 
and we're done. Render out your combined sequence and you'll get your amazing news production. Hello and welcome back to Amazing News. Damn, that's amazing. Indeed. For more news and amazing stuff, let's cross to the amazing story. This is an amazing news story, and here's some cake. Wasn't that amazing? I thought it was incredibly amazing. Exactly. That's all we have time for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Huh. Amazing. Anyhow, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Even if you aren't making a multi-anchor news production, hopefully you've learnt something from this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.